Sign up at the end of this review to get my personal gear list. Hey folks, Tony from The Acoustic Letter. Today, we're gonna look inside a Martin guitar, and we are gonna discover what scalloped versus non-scalloped is. Both tops that I'm holding right now are from Martin guitars, dreadnoughts to be exact. These guitars feature the same fundamental bracing pattern. However, there's one major difference. Let me point out the similarities first, and then I'll show you the major difference. Both patterns have an X brace, both patterns have tone bars. Both patterns have side braces. Both patterns have sound hole reinforcement and a number one brace. However, the main difference between these two patterns is that the top closest to me has a scalloped bracing pattern, whereas the top furthest away has a straight brace pattern. What does that mean? What does that do? Well, if you look, if you take a detailed look at the scalloped versus the straight brace, you'll see the main difference. Scalloped bracing has some of the material shaved away, whereas straight brace has no material shaved away at all. What does that do? Well, it actually makes the top more responsive. The lighter the top, the more responsive it is. That being the case, a straight brace guitar takes a little bit more effort to get more sound out of. Now, just for the record, some models that you'll see with a straight brace pattern are gonna be a D18, a D28, and a D35. Models with a scallop bracing pattern are gonna be an HD28 and an HD35. Again, these two basic bracing patterns are used on Martin's standard series and above. So that's the main difference between a straight brace top versus a scallop brace top. Scallop bracing, more responsive. Straight bracing takes a little bit more effort to get the top going. Both are equally awesome bracing patterns. It's just a matter of which one suits your playing style. Thanks for watching.